group of blind and visually impaired participants walking with National Park Service, Park Rangers, text on the screen Multisensory Nature Walks, a National Park Service program for blind and visually impaired visitors. Next shots of a woman being interviewed with shots of blind and visually impaired visitors feeling leaves, bagworm, nest. A man is interviewed with shot of him shaking a flower that makes a sound when it is shaken from a bladder nut shrub. I think when you're blind, to be able to touch things opens up new doors about what is really at the park. It's great to always learn that so many things that you're told you can't do, you can do, and visiting national parks is one of them. They're America's great treasure. Next shots are of National Park Service rangers explaining the multisensory nature walk program with shots over voiceover of the training that they did. National Park Service employees gather around presenters. Ranger on the walk itself is giving information about natural elements on the walk. So this is an underserved audience. We don't have a lot of programs that cater the needs of the blind and visually impaired. We do not have uh, programs that focus on our other senses and give an emphasis on those over our vision the way that uh, these multi-sensory walks do. We didn't want to just have one program and then be done with it. So we did a few programs last year where we were really able to test out our model. And then this year we really wanted to share that with other rangers in the area. So we hosted a training on how to do something like a multi-sensory nature walk because they can adapt it for their park and um, get that kind of information. And then they were able to really see it in action, which was really cool. We took them on a multi-sensory nature walk and they were able to, to see how it looks on the ground. It's so important to have everyone be able to enjoy the parks just as much as we do working at them. A ranger on the nature walk explains an auditory element on the tour with text on the screen. How can other national parks implement this program? A shot of the human guide training with text on the screen, the first step is training. Next shot is an interview with shots over voiceover of the human guide training. Last shot of a ranger holding up a simulator showing what it can mean to have different types of impaired vision. My name is Melanie Hughes. I'm an orientation and mobility specialist, and I encourage you to contact the Department for the Blind in your area and find a mobility specialist, O&M specialist, we're called all of the above, to come and teach you about human guide training and how to walk with somebody with a vision impairment, and I think you will feel really comfortable and it's going to be a blast. Next few shots will be a member and elder of the Choptico Band of Piscataway Kanoi Indians presenting items on his touch table with text on the screen, Think Outside the Box, shots of interviews with rangers. We all have different parks, as you know, uh, historical, uh, there's monuments or there's houses, there's uh, natural, and uh, we all have to kind of like think of how we can adapt it to our own spots. And uh, there's different uh, challenges with that, but we can always just think and research online. It's a lot of museums uh, that we've been told that have a lot of examples that already do that. Nothing on the deal was wasted. The sinew, the hide, the bones, everything was used, even the toes. We had a, a member from the uh, Piscataway tribe and he brought in these deer toes and so they would jingle together and serve the same purpose as bells would, which they actually did use after the colonists introduced them to the, the tribe. Um, but it's really great to bring in the different elements um, that can enhance the multisensory experience, all these different partner organizations to, to make a, a great experience for our, the blind and visually impaired community. Next few shots of Metro employee presenting to the Rangers, text on the screen, connect with local resources. We can improve the experience, we can help you get people with disabilities. It is the best community event I have ever participated in, in my entire career at Metro. We can help you with training the park rangers to understand those kinds of disabilities and make sure that you have the tools, transportation, and connections you need to make all your parks open to people with all kinds of disabilities. Ranger is walking with visitor, text on screen, learn audio descriptive techniques, shot of interview with a ranger, and shot during voiceover of the same ranger with blind visitor laughing and talking. Right and left of you, there's, there's two water fountains. Many of these visitors cannot 
cannot cannot see those details and interpret them with their own eyes. So we are providing uh, that picture for them through our descriptions, through vivid imagery, providing color details, texture if you can, and just all those little extra adjectives that help uh, bring the environment to life through your words. Shots of rangers and blind participants speaking to them. Text on screen. Ask for input from the blind and low vision community. Following shots are first of a visitor, then a ranger with a shot over voiceover of a ranger helping bring a branch down to a low vision visitor with her son visiting so she can touch a pink flower. The last shot is of a visitor. By getting input from the blind and low vision community, it helps create better tours, actually for the sighted public as well. well. I really hope that we can start to expand these experiences amongst all the parks, especially in the National Capital Parks area and even out west to allow for people of all ages, all accessibilities, and, and anyone who has a disability to be able to experience the outdoors. So this is a really great experience and I felt like a sighted person. I got to feel textured and so now I'm going to bring my sighted friend back here and I'm definitely going to be able to show him around and he's going to have a great time because I'm going to know all the different things now. Thanks Park Service. Text on the screen. George Washington Memorial Parkway with the National Park Service Arrowhead with a website nps.gov slash GWMP. The last image of the multi-sensory nature walk itself, blind and low vision visitors being uh, escorted by the public or by rangers. And the text on the screen is thank you to our community supporters, Virginia Department for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority, and the Chapticoe Band of the Piscataway Kanoi Indians. Thanks so much for watching.